Come, 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 Benji. Come this side. Come, come this side. Good boy. Come, come, Benji. Come here. Come, boy. Good boy. Four-year-old Benji was born blind and for the first time in his life he is learning to walk with a cane. Still, a little unsure of himself, he slowly navigates past potholes, stones and uneven pavings. Amton, a teacher at the Johannesburg School for the Blind, Low Vision and Multiple Disability Children, also known as Beaker, believes that teaching children not to fear the streets ensures independence. <laughs> I, I think that is a major thing because if you do not have freedom of movement, what do you have? If you've got to sit at home, you can't walk to a job, you can't get to your school, then, th then you're basically a prisoner, aren't you? The Johannesburg pavements have become life-threatening environments for the visually impaired. Many become housebound as it's too intimidating to walk over potholes, pebbles and uneven pavings. And what's these plants on the side? The the car drivers don't actually respect a zebra crossing. They they don't stop for people. They don't stop for blind people. They don't stop for people in in wheelchairs. Pupils at Beaker paired up with journalists to walk through the streets of Melville in Johannesburg. Each person accompanied a child to see how difficult it is to walk on Johannesburg pavements without sight. It was really funny because this person, the person which I was working with, she was scared. She was scared that she was going to bump on things. The car, they were going to crash her. Everything like that. She was scared. So it's like. It was, it was a very like eye-opening experience, as much as I was blindfolded, but I mean, now I know what blind people go through. Yeah. How are we doing? Oops, there's a hole. Christy Jacobs for Sapa.